Is the mic on? John? Testing, yeah, we're on. Okay, so assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, welcome, good evening to, and I'm welcoming you to Noor Culture Center. For those who don't know me, I'm Samira Kanji and I'm the president here. And so all I'm gonna do today is to welcome you to the space. And as I welcome you to the space, also remind us all that we stand on the territories, the ancestral traditional lands of the First Nations, uh, uh, and most recently the Mississaugas of New Credit First Nations. And this we do just not as something to satisfy uh, as an end in itself, but to remind us of the work of reconciliation that we're all committed to seeing through to the end. I'm delighted to welcome you to tonight's concert program. It's a really exciting uh, proposal that came to us and we're so thrilled that we were able to be a part of it and we're so glad that you're here. I'm going to hand you over to Mike, who is uh, from Ensemble Topaz. This is a joint uh, presentation by Noor and Ensemble Topaz. So I'm gonna hand you over to Mike, who'll tell you what you're going to be seeing. And all I need to do then is to tell you, have a good time. Thank you. Mike. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to also thank Samira and uh, Noor Cultural Center. Um, we also did have a, uh, a, uh, a land acknowledgement prepared. Uh, I know Samira just did one, but uh, I just wanted to say that Canada has become a, a gathering place for people from around the world, especially for people who come from the countries whose arts we are presenting tonight. Um, but we were not the first peoples to populate this land. We wish to acknowledge that this performance and the North Cultural Center is located on the traditional indigenous territory of the Huron, Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and most recently the territory of the Mississauga of the New Credit. Uh, the territory is part of the Dish with One Spoon Treaty, an agreement between the Anishinaabeg, Haudenosaunee, and allied nations to peaceably share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. This territory is also covered by the Upper Canada treaties. Today, Toronto is still home to Indigenous people, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to meet and work on this territory. So we wish to express gratitude to Mother Earth and for the resources that we are using and honor all the First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people who have been living on this land since time immemorial. We would also like to extend a note of thanks to the Noor Cultural Center. Um, for their support and for hosting this evening at their beautiful center. Uh, we would also like to welcome Mr. Almasbek Omarov, the Consul of the Republic of Kazakhstan in Toronto. Uh, and thank you also for your support. Uh, the Dombra that you will see later in the program this evening was graciously provided by Mr. Omarov. The symbol of the pomegranate is widespread throughout art, poetry, and music in Central Asian cultures. We would like to begin the program with an excerpt from a poem by poet Imtiaz Darker called How to Cut a Pomegranate. This is a magic fruit, so when you split it open, be prepared for the jewels of the world to tumble out, more precious than garnets, more lustrous than rubies, lit as if from inside. Each jewel contains a living seed. Separate one crystal, hold it up to catch the light, Inside is a whole universe. In our own artistic interpretation of the pomegranate, we see each seed as a jewel, but each seed also as neighbor to another seed. Many of the areas we study the dance and music from at Ensemble Topaz are regions which share a border or have deep cultural influences on each other. The pomegranate is a fruit full of multiple seeds, which are all tightly connected to each other. And with this metaphor, we would like to open this evening's performances. We're going to begin with an integrated music and dance piece set to a well-loved and famous song from the Herat region of Afghanistan called Jame Norenji. Uh, Herat is a northwestern 
province of Afghanistan and it borders Iran on the west, especially the Khorasan province. Herat city is, uh, during the Middle Ages, was known as the Pearl of Khorasan. In keeping with the metaphor of the pomegranate with tightly knit seeds, we open with the piece Jome Narenji, which is a famous song in both Herat in Afghanistan and is also a traditional Khorasani song in Iran. This song is about a girl in an orange dress. Parmida, our choreographer, uh, was introduced to the song while working under Iranian choreographer Farzana Kaboli in 2008. And she was subsequently reintroduced to the song in her dance work in the Afghani's uh, community in Toronto. to share a little bit more Afghan traditional music performed today by the Fazlyar brothers. On uh, Rabab we have Waris Fazlyar and on 
uh, tabla, we have his brother uh, Haris. And they're going to play a few traditional Afghan songs for you.
that, that was the Fazl Yar brothers, Haris on Tabla and Waris on uh, Rubab, and we'll be hearing a little bit more from them a little bit later. But right now, I'd love to introduce uh, our special guest, and it's been outstanding uh, getting to know her a little bit over the past few days since her arrival in Canada. Um, we have um, Akmaral Kainazurova from Kazakhstan. And Akmaral Kanazarova holds the title of Honorary Art Worker of the Republic of Kazakhstan, signed by the President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. She is uniquely a performer of both Kazakh traditional dance and the Indian classical dance of Bharat Natyam. Ms. Kainazarova studied Kazakh dance under numerous celebrated Kazakh dance teachers in Almaty and Astana, and in 2004, Ms. Kainazarova became the first member of the International Dance Council from Kazakhstan within UNESCO in Paris. She is an impaneled artist of the Indian Council for Cultural Relations, ICCR, and she is the winner of a gold medal and the title of Champion of the World 2003 in Hollywood, USA in the category of Ethnic Dance at the 7th World Championship of Performing Arts. In 2006, she founded the Center for Indian Classical Dances in Almaty, Kazakhstan, and the, it's the first and only institution for Indian classical dance in the country. And we're going to see a dance by her, and we're going to let her introduce it in her own words. The dance Kilinchik, composed on traditional Kazakh music, symbolizes an infinite hospitality, which was a distinctive feature of Kazakh people since ancient times. In this piece, dancer has a special role of joyfully welcoming the guest who is invited in the seat of honor and is kindly offered Kazakh traditional drinks called kumis and shubat, mares and camel's milk. Choreography Farida Aliyeva. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now we move back to Afghanistan, where we have the ensemble Topaz dancers performing dances to a medley of Pashto songs. These songs are common to the Pashto-speaking communities of both Afghanistan and northwestern Pakistan. The first of these songs is Bibi Shirini, a love song. The second is a song about women singing about water pots as they fetch water from the river. The third dance is a traditional logari instrumental tune. This medley ends with the song Laila Dera Kaista Da, which describes the beauty of a girl called Laila.
Those were the dancers of Ensemble Topaz, Paramita Carr, the choreographer, Angelica Moret, and uh, Sarah, I'm going to make sure I get this, uh, this correct, Sarah Arjumanpur. And now we're going to welcome, uh, welcome Akmaral Kainazarova back to the stage and uh, hear again, once again are her own words to discuss the dance she's going to perform. Kazakh folk music is the rich traditional heritage of the nomads from the time immemorial. Daulit Kirey and Khurman Ghazi are the famous Kazakh composers whose music is foundation stone of Kazakh musical tradition. The great folk composer and musician Khurman Ghazi Sagarbayev has created an all-time favorite piece called Aijan Qas, inspired by the character and the beauty of a woman named Aisha. His music has become a solid foundation for a countless number of dance productions. One of them is the famous Aijan Qas. Sharajin Kulova, dance choreographer of Aijan Qas, the famous performer and the founder of the tradition of Kazakh dance. She has spent many years of her professional career traveling all over the Kazakhstan, studying life way, customs and traditions of different regions of the country. Some of the most iconic Kazakh dances composed by her, such as Aijan Qas, Tatimbet, Karajurha, and others were created as a result 
of her fruitful journeys around the country. In Aizhanke's dance, through defined and expressive movements, the performer demonstrates the hard work of Aizhan. Then, this piece symbolizes the elegance, sophistication, and subtlety of the woman's character and is shown through the graceful hand and body movements. The next song that we're going to perform is uh, going to be performed by the Ensemble Topaz Musicians. Uh, it's a song that is a well-known Herati song, also from that same region as uh, Jamin Orenji. And it's the song of a young girl who is lo in love with Mama Jan and sings this melancholy song as she's about to be married to a different man by her family. The traditional story has a happy ending as the couple do end up together as the Sultan learns about Mama John's piety and decrees that they should be together. The song is called Mola Mama John.
thank you. I'd just like to introduce the band uh, on Rubab. It's Waris Fazliar. <laughs> on Tabla, we have Haris Fazliar. <laughs> and hiding in the back uh, is Graham Smith on the bass. <laughs> and Yarek Dabrowski on guitar. And my name is Mike Ankelwitz. I play clarinet, and I'm about to play the soprano saxophone. <laughs> this next piece is uh, a choreography and uh, sort of a um, mashup in a way of uh, some pieces that Parmida, the, the dancer, choreographer, and I have been putting together uh, for the last several months. We premiered it at an event called Nightfall at uh, the Dance Maker's Studio uh, a couple of months ago, and we've been refining it, and we've brought in the whole band for today's version. Um, it's a piece called Josh Nishab which is a three-part integrated music and dance piece choreographed by Paramita, which explores shades of love using pieces of music that have significance in mystical love. The first song is Faryad by Persian singer Leila Farwar, which progresses into a musical exploration by the musicians of Ensemble Topaz. And the third section is set to the song Sabza Banaz, known in both uh, Persian and Tajik heritages. And here we use the recording of the Montreal-based band Niaz. در ساحل کنم 
Küche. Kü. Thank you very much. And now this next uh, Kazakh dance, it will be once again performed by Akmaral Kainazarova. And again, here are her words to describe the dance. In Kazakh culture, Kui is a special musical form performed with Dombra, we learned by heart and passed from generation to generation without written fixation. Sugur is the famous Kazakh composer and kusher. He left priceless musical legacy that influenced Kazakh national instrumental music and its development. His works in terms of melody, rhythm and structure characterized him as a composer of a world level. Sugur composed the Kazakh key, Akku. Akku, a white swan, in Kazakh culture symbolizes purity, love, and faithfulness. Its white color represents good luck. There is a belief that white swan is a distant ancestor of Kazakh people. Choreography, Olga Adrkaeva. We now present Sarah Arjumanpur performing Rengi Urdu set to music by Bijan Mordazavi. This dance is a mix of traditional Persian dance motifs and urban Tehrani style or Raksi Tehruni, reflected in Mordazavi's signature violin pieces.
And now we uh, go back to Afghanistan for a dance to a song called Chakra. And it's a song that is common to Afghanistan and Tajikistan and also Iran. And it's being performed by Angelica Murat. Chakidan gire, zulfay shamidan gire, boza zruhi jonona ra chakidan gire. Chakra, chakidan gire, zulfay shamidan gire, boza zruhi jonona ra chakidan gire. Mera <laughs> Chakidan gire, zul fosh kamidan gire, boza zuru khe jono na ra chakidan gire. Chakidan gire, zul fosh kamidan gire, boza zuru khe jonon ara chakidan gire. Chakra, chakidan gire, zul fosh kamidan gire, boza zuru khe jonon ara chakidan gire.
Thank you. So once again, that was Angelica Moret uh, dancing to Chakra. Okay. So our next piece is a Tajik dance. Uh, and it's being performed by Paramita Kar, and she returns with a dance of Tajik heritage set to the song Amada, Amad Amadam Gardam by Nigina Amonkilova. Once again, we're going to bring Akmaral Kainazarova back to the stage.
The technique of Kazakh folk dancing combines variety of specific hand movements. The elements of Kazakh dance were frequently inspired by scenery and landscape which surrounded nomads in their everyday life. Through graceful hand and upper body movements, Kazakh dancer can portray such nature elements as gul, flower, bulak, spring, uzien, river, tolkan, waves. Among jewelry and ornaments of Kazakh woman, alka is not just a necklace. When a Kazakh girl turned 10 years old, her mother would give her first alka, a necklace made out of several breastplates, pendants and many bells. It was not only worn as a jewelry, but also served to instill a good posture. Blizek bracelets, Sirga earrings, Sakina ring are usually made out of silver. It is believed that silver protects from evil eye and witchcraft. To depict the joyful mood of celebration in dance, we can use Shkintai Silek offering, Ulkian Silek big present, Tumarsha spiritual protector to maintain happiness, luck and good health. Important element for any celebration is the Kazakh traditional instrument Dombra. Dombra is typical Kazakh instrument with two strings which have to be tuned properly. Dombra making cheerful mood, creates joyful atmosphere, gives happiness and positive attitude to life. Sound of Dombra reminds nature and birds. It is expressive and dear to heart of natives. Dambra conveys many wonderful ancient love stories, deep feelings, and by playing on Dambra, you can bloom in life like a flower. Music for the next dance is composed by famous Kazakh composer Bakhijan Baykadamov and sang by soloist of Kazakh TV and radio Sajida Akhmetova. Choreography Farida Aliyeva.
And once again, we'd like to thank uh, Akmaralka Nazarova for coming to Canada, for being able to join with Ensemble Topaz. She taught a workshop on a Tuesday night on Kazakh folk dance. I know the dancers of Ensemble Topaz really enjoyed it, and we had a couple of other dancers join us to uh, to experience, you know, from one of the, the true uh, true gifted artists of Kazakh folk dance um, to join us and teach us a little bit about it. Um, and Akmaral was also here yesterday working with uh, the dancers of Ensemble Topaz, um, preparing. We've got a wonderful finale for you coming up very soon. And we also wanted to thank, of course, the, uh, the Consul of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Mr. Almasbek Omarov. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Omarov, for bringing the, the lovely Dombra so that uh, we could all show everybody uh, the instrument. Um, and we also want to thank, of course, Newark Cultural Center, uh, the wonderful dancers of Ensemble Topaz, Paramita Carr, uh, Angelica Moret, and Sarah Ard Arman Ar Arjumanpur. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, and of course, the musicians, uh, uh, Haris Fazliar on uh, tabla, uh, Juarez Fazliar on uh, rubab, Graham Smith on bass, uh, Yark Dabrowski on guitar, and my name is Mike Ankelwitz. <laughs> and we're just trying to, to figure out if uh, Ms. Kainazarova has one more performance for you. Um, we have uh, some wonderful uh, cross-cultural experiences here and, and with Ensemble Topaz that's really what we're trying to do and what we really want to do is bring uh, the different cultures from right now Central Asia uh, together and to the people of Toronto we feel that these, these cultures are really um, underrepresented and that's why we are really focusing on these these really wonderful um, arts and arts traditions from Afghanistan and Iran and Tajikistan and of course uh, Kazakhstan um, and Parmita and I had a chance to visit uh, Kazakhstan three years ago uh, we were in the capital city of Astana, and it was a, a beautiful city. Uh, we wish we could have visited Akmaral. We, we, we were uh, in discussions too, but unfortunately it couldn't happen. Kazakhstan is a very big country, so uh, it would have taken uh, quite a while to get from Astana, the capital, in the center of the country, down towards the south in the mountains, um, to, to visit Akmaral in Almaty. Um, wonderful culture and we saw so many performances at the the conference of the international council for traditional music we saw many performances um, of central asian and from mainly from Turk, turkish or turkic speaking countries like uzbekistan um, turkey uh, really wonderful performances and from azerbaijan um, and these countries have really not only somewhat similar country, uh, similar art forms, but they're all very distinct and they're all very unique and beautiful. Um, as we could have seen here tonight, each style had its own look and each style had its own, you know, uh, movement palette. And I think I'm just going to find out what's happening. <laughs> and I'll be right back. And I'm going to bring on my artistic uh, co-director, Parmita Carr, to come and say a few words. Hi, everyone. 
Firstly, thank you all for joining us this evening. We're very excited to bring this program to you and we're very honored that you joined us this evening. This week, we actually had Akmaral Kainazarova, whom you saw doing several pieces today and you will see very shortly. We had her as the international artist in residence at Ensemble Topaz this week. And she worked with us on Kazakh technique, which is a very new direction for us. Uh, we as a company have been performing at several Afghan heritage uh, events and also several Canadian and diverse events. Um, and we also do um, we also do repertoires, Tajik repertoires and other repertoires as well, Balochi, several folk styles. And uh, this is a very new direction for us. And it's been very, very exciting for us because it opened many, many new pedagogical learning structures, uh, different ways of learning dance for us. So we're very honored that she joined us in this journey and worked with us this week at Ensemble Topaz. We had a workshop on Tuesday where she where she imparted to us some basic, um, basic folk dance techniques and also the heritage behind these techniques. And she will be teaching, we're very excited about this. She will be teaching us a Kazakh dance repertoire piece, which we are very honored to be learning from her. And, um, and yeah, and we work together on this program, which we're very delighted to bring before you. So yes, I, um, I noticed she's ready. So without further ado, we will have her back. So please enjoy. <laughs> The music for the next folk dance, Kunil de Bikesh, was created by the famous Kazakh composer, Nurhesat Lindziev. The cheerful lady admires the beauty of her native land, the white steppes, the high Tenshine mountains, the blue waves of the Caspian Sea, the blooming flowers around the Alakol Lake, the water springs, and of course, the hospitality of the natives. She prepares the starhan with delicious Kazakh food and partakes of it with her guests. Choreography, Aigul Tati. <laughs> Thank you. 
So thank you to Akmaral. Um, like the pomegranate in which the seeds are all together in one fruit, we wanted to bring the dances together on one stage. Each of these cultural dances, Afghan, Tajik, Persian, and Kazakh, will be seen on the stage, but the music for each of these, or for three of these sections, plus an introduction are contemporary compositions that I composed inspired by my previous work with these different musical traditions. Um, we also present the Persian traditional song, Mashdi Mashallah, and a song by the Alayev family band called Zebo, which uh, will be the Tajik representative um, for this uh, segment. And finally, our dancers will dance together to a song called Sarsari, a traditional tune from the repertoire of the Alayev family band, a family of musicians originally from Tajikistan, whom uh, Parmita and I had the honor of jamming with some years ago on their visit to Toronto. So here is our finale.
Thank you so, so much for joining us. And once again, we would like to extend our gratitude to Ms. Akmarel Kainazarova. And of course, of course, our wonderful hosts, without whom this performance would not have been possible, Noor Cultural Center. Thank you to everyone who supported us. I'd also like to extend gratitude to the Kazakh Consulate General in Toronto for all their support and all of their work and thank you so so much for supporting this and and last but not least I would like to extend my gratitude to all of the artists who joined Mike and I today in all of their different arenas um, music dance and a lot of performance is not possible without all of the work that goes on behind the scenes. So I must also thank my colleagues, Angelica and Doug, who did the lighting today. And thank you so much, everyone, on behalf of both Mike and I. And now, our wonderful guest artist, Akmaral Kainazarova, would like to address you. Dear friends, Salam Atsisbi. I'm very happy to see all of you here. Thank you for your attention, for your wonderful energy. We are very emotional dancers, so we can feel the energy from your side. Thank you for your understanding of beautiful gem of the world, Asian dancers. And today, I'm really would like to express my sincere thanks to wonderful Paramita. Just imagine, she's Indian, and she's doing such a wonderful job in Canada and any other countries by making popular Asian dances. So Paramita, your work and your contribution is really great. And I'm very thankful for attention to such a wonderful heritage as a Kazakh folk dancing. Thank you, Mike. Music, your music is really wonderful and very inspiring. And all this organizational work I really very, very much appreciate. My sincere thanks to Angelica and Doug, to Sarah, this beautiful team, and wonderful musicians of the evening. Thank you very much. And of course, thank you for authorities of this very cozy and warm Noor Cultural Center for giving us opportunity to conduct this program. Thank you so much. I, my very sincere thanks to Kazakh Embassy 
in Canada and a special gratitude to our councillor, Kazakh councillor in Toronto, Mr. Almas Piekumarov and his spouse Zulfia. Thank you for coming today for this program, supporting us in all the ways. I would like to express my sincere thanks to my host, Anna Meyer. She is a leader of ASEA company in Kazakhstan, and she's also very supportive to arts. Dear friends, tomorrow I'm going to have a program in Toronto on Indian classical dance Bharatnatyam. Please, all of you, kindly welcome. Thank you all, everybody, and have a wonderful night. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, uh, Samira Iman in the office here at the Newark Cultural Center. Thank you to everybody, to John doing sound in the back, and Doug. Thank you all very much. <laughs>